Hi, I'm Kuba and today we'll visit the Alchemist's laboratory and discover the recipe for text transmutation. Text embeddings are multidimensional vectors that represent textual data. These vectors capture semantic and syntactic features of text, allowing machines to process and understand human language. They are essential in tasks like sentiment analysis, language translation, information retrieval and semantic search which we'll implement in this video. To calculate text embeddings, I will use version 2 of the E5 model. E5 name comes from embeddings from bidirectional encoder representations. Model was trained on colossal clean text pairs from heterogeneous semi-structured data sources like Reddit, Stack Exchange, English Wikipedia, scientific papers, Common Crawl, and others. To run the E5 model, I will use the Candle ML framework written in Rust. Candle supports a wide range of ML models including Whisper, Llama, Mistral, Stable Diffusion and others. Moreover, we can simply compile and use Candle library inside WebAssembly to calculate text embeddings. To demonstrate the power of these embeddings, we will create a simple search application. The application contains two parts, Rust code, which is compiled to WebAssembly, and View Web Application. The Rust code is based on the Candle WebAssembly example and expose model struct, which loads the model and calculates embeddings. Compiled Rust struct is used in the View TypeScript web worker. The web application reads example recipes and calculates embeddings for each of them. You can also provide your own texts. Now we are ready to implement search. For provided text, we calculate embedding and search the recipe from the list that matches the best. To do this, we'll use cosine similarity. Cosine similarity measures the cosine of the angle between two vectors, offering a way to judge how similar two texts are in their semantic content. The application code is available on GitHub. You can also test it on my website. For handling larger datasets, it becomes impractical to compute cosine similarity for each phrase. In such cases, utilizing a vector database is more efficient approach. That's all for today. Don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Bye.